Well, how's she going today, tubes? So it's another uh, fucking wonderful fucking day. It's, uh, well, it says 41 on the thing, but I think it's closer to 50 because uh, it's really nice out. Everything's melting like crazy over here. Um, and I got something shocking to show you guys. Look at that just dripping off the shop there. A little windy though, but the wind is warm, so. But, uh, we're gonna work in the shop today. Um, I brought, so, got some things to do. Turn the power on. I bought all my vice grips out. We're gonna try to hang this son of a bitch today. So I brought my, uh, big Dewalt drill out. <laughs> And, uh, I don't know how the hell this thing hangs, because there's no really no instructions, so, it's just I'm going by this piece of paper here, but, but yeah, I think we'll try to take these things out too, and stuff, but let me show you something, guys. Okay, now, since it's, uh, well, it's, I suppose about, you know, like I said, 41 or close to 50 outside, but here in the shop, it's probably, like, maybe... 40 a little cool it's, it's definitely a little cooler i can feel the difference but let me show you something freaking rice we're back to wearing the old hats again that's how freaking nice it is out this is my new bobcat one in case anyone hasn't seen it yet i bought this one uh i bought this one uh, before winter hit i think i can't quite remember but it was somewhere around there anyways so, but it's nice enough to be to be wearing a hat, so I'm gonna wear a hat instead of a big winter hat. So, because I'm getting tired of wearing the winter, the winter shit. So, turn this off. So yeah, so I brought the old. Uh, I didn't bring my tripod up for this camera either. So, oh well, frig it. So, um, I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try to hang. Uh, well, first we got to find a place to put the vice grips, and I'm thinking maybe I'm just going to clamp them onto uh, this board for now. They can just clamp. I actually, uh, I need to get more actually. Well, I got enough of these big ones. One, two, three. But unfortunately, I only got one small one. Now, um, I got like three of these. So, yeah, one for Big Red, one for the tractor. I just got done putting the one for the tractor in. So that's in the glove box there now. Uh, I'm going to keep one in the house. So that's three. So this, this would be the fourth one. One, two, three, and a four. So I might have to get a couple more. These are the these are the seven inches, and then these are the... Uh, I think these are the ten inches. These have the curved uh, tooth design. And then these are just the flat ones, right? Or they don't, they probably wouldn't grip quite as good, but they're for the bigger bolts and stuff. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I haven't had you guys up here in a long ass time. Uh, I'm just going to try to see if maybe they'll clamp onto this plank of wood here. For now, anyways. Let's see here. Might be overkill, probably. The, uh, the Deweys, fortunately. Oh, yeah. Still gonna have to adjust it. I don't know if I can climb around this wood, but we'll see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You just have to, you just have to crank them way out, I guess. I don't know about these flat ones, but they have the same deal, I guess. For now, anyway, until I can figure somewhere else to put them right now, they're not really in the way, so. Oh, I cranked on that one a little too much. There. Just for now, because I kind of need the workbench. I could, I guess I could clamp them over here, too, I guess, but. For now, so we can. I could even, I guess, have clamped them to, uh, that's nah, too thick, I guess. 
be all right for the C clamps, I guess, but not these kind of clamps. Good enough. For right now, is anyway. Oh, I do have another one, don't I? I guess I do. I guess I actually do have. Uh, I think I do. Yeah. I guess I do have another 7 inch, I guess. So I got two of them then, I guess. Should be okay then. I guess I didn't see this one, I also forgot about them, I guess. I guess, I don't know. Crank them out. Crank them down. Not too much. Right now. And this guy. I could have climbed them up on top of this thing, but I'm afraid that it might, uh, might actually might fall in there, it might cave it in some. Ah, it's too far to reach anyway. Pretty good. So, not much of it, son of a bitch. There. That's just for now until they're out of the way, you know, until I can find a different spot for them. Um, and it's kind of crazy to see them go on an angle like that, but whatever. So I do have two of the seven inches, I guess. One up here, and then one right here. But I got, I think, more than enough C or, uh, locking pliers, that's for sure. I just need to get more of the C-clamps. I got one coming, plus tips, or contact tips for the welder. And I didn't bring my big fucking knife. Oh, I guess I got that scissor there, I guess. Always pays off to keep a scissor in the shop. So, uh, and for this blue thing, I did find some screws. I don't know if they'll fit, but uh, they probably should. Um, yeah, they should. I should have enough here. I don't think I need to go crazy on it. So, so yeah. I'm gonna put the sharp key behind you guys. So what we'll do. We'll get the drill out, and yeah, I have been keeping it in the bag, the bag that I bought for it. Great little place. This is my extension cord. This is a 20. This is the same one that says blue one I got here now, but uh, this is a 25 foot. Um, just in case I should need it for the drill, I got it, but I haven't used it yet. Let's see, and then of course I got my uh, drilling bits, but we won't be needing those. And the uh, the big wonderful drill. So I don't think I'll need the extension cord though. I should have plenty of cord. So, but it sure is nice to get out and get some things done. Um, it's been a long cold winter, guys, and uh, it's noon now. Fantastic. I think I need a flathead. I got a couple Phillipses too, I suppose, but the siren sure is loud today, boys. Holy crap. How oh, is it? There it is. I try to keep this video a little more friendlier, I guess, this time. A little bit of dirt and stuff in the bag. I don't know why that's in there. I don't know why the string's in there, but it is. Freak sakes. Oh well. Still smells like new, the bag. I'm sure the drill probably does too. Um, I did use the drill a couple of months ago. We were actually going to hang our... Uh, our we got a new home phone. The other one took a crap. So we got a new one. Let's just put it up. The last phone we had was a wireless phone. But we decided to get a corded one. So we did. Uh, a Sony, of course. I think it was a Sony. I don't know, but. And uh, that one they said you can actually hang on the wall. So we went and tried it, and it wasn't working for us. So, so I don't know. I don't know what their deal was with that, but whatever, it's fine. 
So I'll put the drill up here. Look at that drill. And the snow cats, we're just giving her again. The snow cats have been out crazy the past few days. They know that it's nice to stay. Uh, Nice weather's coming, so they're going to enjoy the the uh, snowmobiles there, which is fine. They might as well, but they don't need to be doing it on private property land, right? So, so we'll plug the drill in and test it, make sure it works. They say not to, you know, plug it in, not need it for anything, but wrong way. This light turned off. I won't be needing full power anyway, so let's... Right there is probably all, all, all I'm going to need for power. But I can smell the, the brand new air smell coming off this drill when I hold it. So we'll go this way with it again. I can smell it. It hasn't really been broken in much. Oh, locked up on us. We'll go ahead and put the uh, quick hatch dewey in our drill. And then go the opposite way with it. Oh, jeez. Oh, what is going on here? No, I'm locking up. There, it did now. Okay. So that's the, uh, the screwdriver thing. I want to get more screwdriving things. Um, I just got a feeling that these probably ain't going to last. <laughs> So, I got, whoa, I got this kind of screw. They're, they're all flatheads except one of them was a Phillips. Uh, I thought one was a Phillips. Maybe not. No, I think that one I threw back in because I wanted to get more of those. But then I got some with the small heads, some with the big heads, um, just because that's really all I got. And they're kind of short, but they'll work for this kind of a setup, so... I need to know if this is the right uh, Dewey. And no, it's not. Freak sakes. Well, it'll fit in there, but it's really freaking tight. What about. That's for the small heads. What about the big heads? Fits in the big head screws alright, but I don't think I only got it. One, two, three. See three. I only got three of those, and then one, two, three, four, five of the small heads. But we'll make our work, boys. We'll make our work. That's why I got to get more. Uh, I need to get more of these, the flathead kind, but with a skinnier uh, flat end on it. That's kind of a thick end. I need a skinnier one. That's why I wanted to get more. And it happened to be one on Northern Tool. It was a Dewalt one, but unfortunately it won't fit to my kind of drill. So, I guess they fit the bigger drills, I guess. I don't know. Which I guess is fine. I'll find one eventually, I guess. But right now I don't really care. So we got the screwdriver bit in. So now we'll open up the uh, up the blue thing. I guess I need them because they're on my big sticks. All right, boys, we're going to dig into this nice wrapped, neatly wrapped toy. And it really sucks because they didn't give any screws. They didn't... Oh, Jesus. I mean, when you buy something like this, you kind of expect to get screws with it. But it's fine. Okay, so we're going to keep this because we're going to need it for evidence. <laughs> or for uh, hanging, to know, to know how to hang the bloody thing. It doesn't really smell new anymore, but it's been sitting next to my uh, well, next to my TV because I have nowhere else to put it. So my welder is also sitting next to my TV too. So, so oh, that's in two pieces. I wonder how that works. We'll figure it out, boys. We'll figure it out. There's the first lid or the first Dewey. I like how these neatly stack too. I think you can either, you can stack them on top of each other, or you can just uh, hang them, which I'm going to hang them. So I'm not going to have room for that in my 
Because if I had more workbench, it would be okay, but I would have caved in. But I don't. So. And you can even, uh, it's even got little slots in here. See, all the way around. So you can put, uh, like a piece of paper in there that will, so you can name each each tub. So like the first one can be for nuts, and then their size, and then the next um, size, and the next size, and the next size down. Or if you want to fill it with washers or whatever, you know. Most of you guys should know. I'm sure everyone's got just one of these in their shop. So I figured, well, if I'm going to turn her into a really turn her into a shop, let's get some real shop stuff. And I don't think these will slide, well, they will slide, but they'll fall right out, so that's not good. So, this can get burned. Some people probably would, would recycle it, but uh, there's no recycling places around here that'll do that, besides in, the, besides in the frickin' bloody city, and I'm not going to the city just to chip out a chunk of plastic. So, so I'm guessing something like this, yeah. Something like that, I guess. It just kind of slips on the dewy. And then you just screw it in on the... No, it won't work that way. It's got to work this way, yeah. So it looks like you can only hang... I guess... If you put it right to the end, you should be able to just put three right on that. Yep, and then three for the next one. So that's how that'll work. And then, see, I gotta see how I want to hang this. So it actually gave me a. I know you guys ain't seeing much right now, but I gotta kind of just eyeball this to how I want it. This thing seems to be kind of kind of bold for some reason, mostly because of the weight of the thing. But I think if we put one here, yeah, that should work. Yeah, I should be happy with that. If not, I can always change it again. So what I'm going to do now is use the big screws for now. It really looks like all you need, I guess you need is two, but I might put a couple more in just to re... Well, I might, yeah. So one on one in each end. Okay, and then maybe I'll put one in the middle. Just for some extra safety. I don't know if you're supposed to put them all through all the holes or not. I suppose if you really were, were going to uh, load this thing, you would. I probably should put longer screws in, which I could. I think for the main ones, I think I'll go longer. Even though the drill doesn't really fit through that too well. See, these are a bit longer. I kind of want them to go into the, into the wood a little better. So, the outer ends will have the bigger screws. So, I'll put you guys back over here again and hopefully you guys are seeing where I want to hang this. A lot of you guys are seeing the vice grips. I guess I'm going to put one here and then the next one will probably go right underneath it or maybe down a little bit more. So, we'll grab the big drill. Oh, this drill is definitely not light. So, or it doesn't, I guess they do fit on there a little bit. Just have to get a little bit mean with it, I guess. So, so I guess right about here. Well, maybe we should like kind of like. They say to pre-drill them, I guess. Some do, but I'm not pre-drilling. I'm just gonna. Well, actually, I am, but just using the screw. Screw's freaking hot. Talk about awesome power, eh? My, la my other drill never could do that. Not really. It would always have such a tough time. 
Oh, how do I do this? Like this, I guess. Yeah, because if you button it like that, you never, never be able to hang it. <laughs> so, for the main screws, we'll use the longer ones, and in the middle one, we'll use the shorter ones. So, get that in there. And then, and the drill is saying it's crooked as spray. Oh well. Yeah. It's probably not dead center either. But oh well. Settle down. There. I guess a little bit too much power. And yeah, and I am using my right arm, by the way. Probably shouldn't be, but she's getting a lot better now, so I've just been pushing my luck with stretching it, so. Not the best thing to be doing, but you know. And the book comes through. Sakes. And I probably should pre-drill this. I don't know why I don't just pre-drill it, honestly. I got the freaking bits. So why not? Save me the freaking trouble. So I don't have that one. I'm not going to pre-drill it very far because <clears throat> you got to have wood to dig into, too, right? So, so what size screws are these? They're the same size as this bit, I bet. Mm. I've just been kind of just been eyeballing it. I don't know if you're supposed to do it this way, but if it's the same thickness as the bit, I've just been going with that bit, but it's probably not the way you're supposed to do it. I'm probably supposed to go with a bit smaller, but I'm not going that far with it anyway. Just enough to... Uh, <clears throat> Just enough to uh, get it started for me. So, because that ain't going to matter for me. Put her a bit thin. And if you're wondering why there's a... Uh, there's a... Um, if you can see it, there's like kind of like... Uh, how the stuff is... Uh, kind of like sheet rocking or whatever, the white crap. That's because I was trying to hang the phone, and it wouldn't work for me, so. They say that phone's hangable, but the damn thing's all stupid. The phone won't stay on the hook. It's stupid. So, probably should make sure this is level. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll just start a little hole here. Good enough. Should be more than good enough. And where's my thing? But I do like the uh, quick change design, and of course, then you got the screwdriver thing too. That's all quick design. It sure is a. It's not the fastest, I guess, but it's definitely a lot better. Bitch. It's better than better than nothing. So then we'll hopefully this will work. I didn't go too far with it because this has to grip some wood. I just know that's the point of it, right? So get up in there, get straight too. I don't know. Like, yeah, I supposed to put one in the middle too. It looks like so. Yeah, you're supposed to put at least one in the middle, so we'll do that. Uh, I've got to pre-drill it again. And since I'm not good at this kind of stuff, since I don't like do this on a daily basis, and it takes me time, so... But... I 
to free. Come on. Why isn't my damn thing working now? There we go. Gotta go that way with it. Well, what the hell it was. So a free drill. Again. Wrong way. How far did that go in there? Good enough. Then we'll back her off. Oh, bitch. Probably that's why you probably should wear gloves. So you don't burn your skin up. Who's got time for that, right? So then I'll have to put... I'm just going to put one of these big screws, or the, the, the little, these little screws in. Hopefully that'll work. Although I hope I didn't pre-drill it too far in, but... Yeah, you gotta watch yourself too. If you go too far with the drill, you can actually go right through the plastic. I kinda already started, but. If that hole wears out, I got two extra ones there, so. Okay. I'm gonna switch back over to the bit because I know I'm gonna need it, so. But honestly, I don't know what why some people don't like, like Dewalt. There's some people that like the, uh, what is it, the Milwaukee or whatever, the red ones. I like them too. I, I, you know, they seem to be good drills, but sorry, I'm more into DeWalt. I mean, if they're all, all that there was was Milwaukee, I'd be okay with it. But as long as it's a, you know, a power plug-in duty, you know, not battery operated. I know, I know there's one guy that suggested that I, that I get... I mean, he says it's, uh, you know, it's, it's okay to get a Dewalt, but he also said to get it, um, it was a screwdriver gun slash impact gun kind of deal. Um, it was rechargeable, you know, it wasn't like a direct power thing. <sighs> I'll probably get one someday. I'm probably going to want it because I just like it. So, there's Dewalt. And it looks like you can even bolt, uh, or... I guess maybe bolt it together. Do you see the little holes at the end there? So I guess, you know, if you don't want it to have some slop, I guess. I probably would just put pins in or something, you know. But for the amount of weight that's gonna, this thing's going to hold, I think I hurt it. So put that together. And this guy should fit on, no problem. Yeah. Okay. So well, that's how that one goes. Then you got the second one. Which uh, I need one of these for. Let's see how I want to do this. Because you don't want to go way up there because you're not going to be able to. Well, you could, I guess. That's what they're doing on the piece of paper, it looks like. Now they, they left a little gap there, but I think what I'll do is I'll just do something like like this. There, yeah, there's kind of offset, offset or set it there too. I don't know why, but I think something just like this will be fine. Um, that way you can still get your hand in without no problems. So. Off by a little bit, but that's all right. So I guess we'll uh, do a square it up again and pre-drill. So, and I'm just eyeballing it. You probably there's probably better ways of doing it. Well, actually, yeah, there would be. If you just take these off, this would help. would help a lot because then you can just go like this and then if it works good enough you just go down the higher you want it I think I want it like that 
Ah, let's just do it here. Forget. Then what I'll do, make sure I did this right, hang one of these back up, and then line this back up, and that should leave me, uh, uh, I'll have to pre-draw that one again, I kind of freaked up on that. Let me just take another one of these, stick it on there. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. But this one here, it's gonna have to get re pre drilled again because I kind of messed up on it. So we'll get a screw in there and be done with it. And I think this video is gonna be this goddamn long, 31 minutes. I could cut the stuff out, you know, I guess you don't have to watch it. But isn't that kind of the point of this video? Just so you guys can see me hang this stuff. So. Of course, now I got oh, I got a couple of these long ones yet, I guess. So, oh, they're, they're freaking they're, they're, they're the damn same anyway. So, get off. Whatever, Dewey again. Shove a Dewey in there. Shove a Dewey in there. This back off. Oh, come on. And then, uh... Okay. Then we gotta pull this down. It seems a little bit tight, but... Uh, that seems a little bit better. Yeah, hopefully I can uh, pre-drill this because I think it's not going to be very tight. I might actually have to move that screw over, but we'll try it. Kind of messed up on that, so. We'll try her. Kind of dig into the plastic a little bit. Okay. Probably not. I'm probably fucking it up all the more, but oh well. Pitch. And we'll grab another one of these long dewies. So hopefully she's level. If not, well, that's too bloody bad. Should be fine. Put one in the middle. Free drill it, of course. Get a little bit quicker now because I'm getting used to what I got to do here now. So move a little bit quicker now. Pray to God that straight doesn't even look like it's freaking straight either. Ah, uh, ah, uh, freaking care. I was actually going to buy one of those cabinet ones. But man, they're close to a thousand bucks. I was like, I really don't need all that, so. If I need more of those, if I need more storage, you just get more of them. More of the little dewies, right? So. And then, we'll put this, this dewey in there. This should be fine. Yeah, see, you got extra holes here too. So if you want to uh, make it even more stronger, or if you blow through these holes, then you got some spares. But I think we'll be fine, boys. I think we're pretty much well done. Uh, we'll 
I'll unplug the drill for now so we don't have an extra dent. We'll start up. So we'll hang the tubs. You really can't overload them anyway because they kind of got a lot of play in them. So from where I got a hold of it, I'm sure they'll be fine. So and then these ones should just slip right in. That screw that screw probably could have went in a tiny bit more, but I'm not worried. So But yeah, you I think you definitely can stack them too if you don't want to hang them. I mean it shows um, <clears throat> that you can hang them or stack them. So but I'm gonna hang them because I don't want them on the on the workbench. So I gotta hang them. A little bit of slop in that one, but that's alright. Yeah, so that should work. And if I have to, I can get another one. I can put it up here or put it down here, you know, but I got room for another one here. Well, I can do a lot, actually. So, I actually got some screws left. So I'll just take those, uh, you know, back up to the house if I have to. So we'll grab, uh, see, I got some, uh, new pins and stuff in here and some washers and stuff so we'll take those out i was going to use these tubs too but eh, i think i'll use these for something else if i should actually run out of room or something i'm gonna put my put my bit back before i lose it so so of course, this is not really a washer, but it can be used as one. So, we got, of course, we got different size washers, but I'm not going to care how they go. Um, I got this plastic one too. I don't know what good that'll do, but we'll keep it anyway. And then you got these these Carter pins. Um, I'm just get them in my ass. All right. So. I'll grab some washers. Those are some locking washers or whatever they are. I got plenty of storage. So we'll put the washers in one bin. Even though it doesn't matter, I don't care what size, you know, because I'm going to break uh, sakes, quit falling out of my hands. But I think uh, these these ones that are kind of broken, I might put those in a different Dewey. So, we got cars driving around. So we'll load her up. Okay, let's go to first load in. Here's another one. I guess there's these, these. I got some rusty ones too, but we'll keep those anyway. I don't know what this was at one time, but it's some kind of a washer. So, we got some skinny ones. So, that should be cool. Put these in there. Put those in there. And then they got this big monster, which I hope doesn't break it. I mean, it's not that super heavy, but you can feel that she's definitely taking on the weight. So, not for that doesn't even need to be in there. It's not really a washer anyway, but it's kind of like a spacey dewy. So I think what I'll do, I'll hang it over here. You know, it's meant to take that kind of weight, but you know, it's China stuff. So then I got these ones that are kind of broken. So I'm just gonna throw those in their own dewy. I got some nuts, and I got some more at the house too. So I'll probably bring those back here too, I don't know. But then we got these, uh, these Carter pins, all different sizes. They can all have their own same Dewey. So, do apologize for another long video. I didn't think it was going to be that damn long. 
freak's sakes. Oh well. If the camera dies, I'll just use my cell phone afterwards. Give you a different parts. So, there's all the Carter pins. They can have their own hole. Right there. And then the, the nut. Well, he can have his own hole too. Of course, I gotta get more, you know, but these are my screws. I'll probably take those back to the house later. And uh, this bolt's got a washer on it. So, I think that went to the snow plow actually, or the, the winch for Big Red. I took the old one out. So, okay, I'll just throw them in there. So, this bin's empty. Um, if I have to, if I fill up those, I just put them in here then, alright? So, got that number empty. I don't think there's anything in here I want. So, so here's another, here's another nut. Here's another nut. So we'll throw that in the nut thing. So, and actually, guys, let me go find some more um, some more washers and nuts and stuff. Um, I know I got some more somewhere. So let me go find some more. I'm gonna uh, take some of the stuff back up to the house, and then uh, I'll fire up the camera afterwards and stuff. Oh yeah, I think I got stuff in this bag too, don't I? Yeah, I do. But we'll look through those here in a minute. But I'm going to take some of this crap back because I don't think I quite need it all. So, anyway guys, I'm going to take off, so I'll be back. So yeah, one minute, tubes. Okay, so welcome back. So, um, finally got, uh... I really didn't have much for bolts besides what's in this bag here that was already been sitting in here all winter. Uh, I just brought, uh, I went and took the drill back. And I brought out those two cans of WD-40, because they can sit back here now. Um, I got one in the house, so for the doors. Um, and normally just, I just used to use uh, oil in a little, uh, old-fashioned dump can kind of thing, you know, it was back in the day kind of stuff. Um, not that it's getting low or anything, I just don't think it works very well. I don't know, it works a little bit, but I, got, I went and tried some WD-40 on that one door and it worked pretty good. So of course, I got this can of paint here that's no longer good, so I might just try to dump that this spring. But I'm cleaning off the shelf because I'm going to put my WD-40 in here. And I do have another can of WD-40 uh, in the garage, a smaller can. That would be just be for up there in case something decides to start squeaking on us. But uh, here they are. This one's I think full. Yeah, maybe they're both full. Probably. I don't think I've ever used them. No, actually, I th yeah, probably. So two cans of WD-40, and I got two small cans too. These are the these are the the large cans. I think you can even get bigger ones, but um, these should still work because I've had them all winter. They've been sitting in the house all winter, so they should be fine back here. And I have I've I I got one sitting out in the garage. That's what I'm sitting out sitting out there all winter too, and I I'm sure it'll still work. If not, well, it'll just sit there then. So, I just got this, oh, I forgot to take these screws back a little. So I got this bag of bolts here. Um, now the washers and the nuts will fit to these bolts and will probably fit to anything else, but see, there's a nut that fell out. But I don't know if I'm going to put the bolts in there. I don't know, because these are pretty big bolts, and these are for the cultivator. Um, for when we finish the cultivator job. So, but we won't be doing that until I can get some sockets for the impact gun. I still haven't ordered any of those yet. I kind of doubt that I will. But I'm going to take all the stuff off the bolts. Because I'll know. Because it only fits to one size. So, this bag's getting pretty ripped. 
It's been sitting in the cold, it got wet that one day and then it's just stuck like that, so. So, so we'll just take everything out. I got quite a bit here too, I got a lot, so. But uh, we'll get them out and get them in the bucket there, or in the dewy. Um, I'm going to short these bolts out, of course, too. The big ones and the small ones. So the big ones are for, I believe they're for the for the teeth on the cultivator. And the little ones, these are a little bit longer than the other ones. Those are just the, just the side deweys. Um, there's some things that the cultivators, things are bolted to the part, the, to the main frame of the cultivator. And they're, uh, they're this size. But they're getting wore out. So, got to, got to replace those. So, but yeah, if I would be definitely be uh, getting more. I might even get one for the garage up at the house. I think I might put the big red stuff in there for the plow. If I keep the plow stuff, the stuff for the plow up at the house because that's where Big Red sits most of the time. So, so that's what we'll do there. Grab another one of those. Oh yeah, and then I got some got some baby screws. So, but I don't know if I have enough room for all that. So, my bolts, not large bolts, some washers. So we'll get them out of the out of here. So, but I'm probably going to have to quit pretty soon. It seems like my shoulder is starting to hurt again. So, but, oops, that was a small bolt. So I'm not going to short them just between the sizes. I don't have to do that. It'll just take up space. So. There's another screw. Some washers. This washer's got kind of a got a nick in it. Got a nut. Got another nut. And then some more washers. Got plenty of washers. There's supposed to be two for every, two for every bolt. The big ones and the small ones. That's how I did that setup. And I got another new screw. I got a new nut. So got a, another large bolt, another large bolt, a washer. Uh, a washer, a small bolt. A nut, a washer. Holy crap, the face look. And a small nut. Knock those out. Okay. Small bolt, a nut, screw, more nuts, okay, new screw, some more nuts, the rest of these are washers. So let me show you the pile I got going on here, boys. Let's see, I'm going to take these screws out because these are not part of the, they're not part of the set. So we should have more than enough to finish the cultivator. Here's the large bolts for the teeth. Here's all the nuts. The large ones are in here too. Here's the little pile of screws. I got going on here. A big pile of washers, all different sizes. Got a nut in there too. Has to be in there. And then the small bolts. So we'll try to shove those in there now. And uh, make sure you guys are looking the right way. So we'll do the washers first. Hold my hand up with some. Hopefully this doesn't weigh it down too much. But what the bottom for was to hold all the weight, so. So. Norton, uh, check my Norton tool order today. 
And that thing's all freaking screwed up. They said that uh, it's supposed to be here on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, I think. Yeah. And then it says that it's um, out for early, well, not early delivery, but it's being shipped apparently today. So, but I don't know. It says that it's supposed to be here. Monday and Tuesday, so I don't know, but I don't know what the problem is, but it's such a small package, it's probably not going to come by UPS, it'll probably just come by the mail. So, you can definitely tell this is being weighed down now, because she's, uh, she's, uh, down quite a bit. I would have liked it if there was a kind of a lip thing behind her that would rest up against the wall. Put the weight on, put the weight on the wall instead of putting it on the bracket, right? But she's definitely bent down. I'll even show you here. So hopefully she'll hold. If not, well, we'll just have to stack them, I guess, you know. But these washers really don't weigh a lot. But I suppose once they pile up, they do. But so, but she's looking more like a shop every day, boys. So that's all the washers. Let me show you here how they're. You can see how much now it's come down now. See, that's my one. See that? This is what it's, this is where it's supposed to originally be. Now it's come down just barely a bit, you know. But you're supposed to be able to fill them. I guess right up to the top. So what we'll kind of Space this out a little bit, get more of the weight on the Dewey's. And then uh, this is where the nuts are going to go. And I got those uh, splitting nuts in here, but I only got a couple of those, so I gotta get more of those too. But the nuts will probably go in the bottom ones. Hopefully, they'll hold the weight. I don't know, they're pretty freaking heavy. So, oh, sorry about my finger. Oh, did it again. Sorry about that. So, I'll grab the big ones. I think I'm gonna put the big ones probably in the middle. Probably should put them on the uh, on the ends because that's where the bigger screws are at. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. This is the bigger screws. Yeah, it's already folded down quite a bit. Probably not made this heavy stuff. I don't know. We'll find out. But it's not like I'm ever ever really going to probably ever really overload it. Yeah, he's pulled down a lot more than this guy has, but these bolts are a lot bigger and heavier too, so. But, I put it on the bigger screws, on that bigger screw there, so I should hold it. If not, hold on, I guess I'll put bigger ones in, but. Hey, kitty, kitty. So the little ones will go in the middle. These probably shouldn't work quite as much. So. They don't have quite as many of those, so. And then the, uh, the nuts will go in there. All sizes, not, I ain't gonna put different sizes in there. Not right now anyway, because I don't have all the, don't have the room for all this, so I gotta get more, but more uh, storage duties. But for now, we'll make this one work. So, oh crap, oh shit, I lost the bolt, or not. Come here, you. So, but yeah, so, should be okay, hopefully. Plastic, you know, never really holds up too much of anything. Lighter, yeah, but. It's not gonna hold the heavy stuff. It's easier to hang them because newer stuff, but man, yeah, that's a... Alrighty. So we can burn this bag. The screws will go up and up into the house, that's where they need to be. And I don't think I got any more nuts and washers and stuff and Deweys. So at least I don't think I do anyways. Well, 
those nuts have to be cleaned up. Alrighty, so <clears throat> show you here what they look like. I don't know if they're straight. I can't tell if they're straight. Probably not, but like if the you know it's level with the top one. The top one's level, but I don't know about the bottom one. Uh, looks like it's about the same. So this is what we got. Uh, washers in that one. Uh, those broken washers, the ones that are kind of broken, I forget what they're called, locking washers or something, I don't know. They're in that one. Got my carter pins in there. I'm going to go grab some, uh, I've got some quick catch pins too, I'm going to probably throw on that too. But they're, I think they're probably in the house, I don't know. My nuts, all different sizes. The small bolts, I need more of those of course. And then my big ones, which are, which is peeling the thing down, but... Not much in this one, of course, but that's all right. We'll probably get some more of those. I can easily uh, just take a bolt, you know, take one of these and one of these big ones and get some some of some of uh, these, you know, in that size. See how they're kind of. I think they're locking washers. I think because they're broken a little bit there. See, so. But yeah, so at least we got rid of a bag. This bag's been on here all winter. And it got wet and then it froze to the pail and then it ripped the bag. So, so we can throw that away. I do have room for another one. I can even put one more roll on top and then another roll on the bottom. And I can go all the way down if I had to. I can even go to the next wall. But I don't want to go too much further. I guess that would be okay because my welder, my welder and the plasma cutter is going to sit here. I'm going to have a workbench in between. So yeah, it would be okay. <clears throat> so... Yeah, and I got my, uh, I'm probably just going to leave those there. I think they're fine. Uh, I'm also going to clamp them up on top of this thing, but I don't think it would hold all that weight. So, yeah. And I got these other nuts here too, or bolts. I could throw that in the stash, but they're not, um, probably the ones we're going to, ah, uh, I want more storage actually on that. Yeah, I think what I'll do is that, those are for the old winch. The old Polaris winch there. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to buy me another one of these. Put it up in the garage up at the house. And that'll be for big red stuff. And then I'm probably going to buy another one. Because after that. Maybe later on or something. Because you know I'm going to. If I do get the snowblower. Um, that's going to have parts too for it. So I'm going to need you know locking nuts. And shear pins. and Or shear bolts. And other washers and crap like that. So. But uh, she's definitely looking more like a shop every day, every every year or so. <laughs> this would be probably I don't know. I put I put in a lot of things in here. See, there's that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight things that I put in here so far. Yeah. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, somewhere around there, it was quite a bit, I, you know, a few things I'm putting in. Yeah, probably seven or eight because I, I, I put the vice in. I think the first thing I put in, the very first thing I put in the shop was this light. And then I put the vice grip in about a year later. And then that light, and then now, of course, now we're on a new one. So, there's lots of other little bits and pieces of stuff and stuff in here too. But we're going to pull these, uh, pull these things out um i'll probably just end up putting those in a container because i don't want them getting all shitted on so probably in that same container where i had the, the bolts and stuff in for now yeah and i just don't know how moisture is getting in this honestly so i got a rag here i i got some shop towels too but the thing is, they don't have a, um, a towel holder thing for it, so I'm probably going to try to get one on eBay. That smells like oil. Oh, had, maybe they were oiled to, to not rust, eh? I don't know. I don't know, but... It, it smells like oil, boys. Maybe they, they just uh, oiled them to keep it from uh, 
from uh, rusting up on us. It smells like they've been oiled, so. So yeah, we'll get these out. I wish different if we had more of those containers. I'm, I think when I get the yellow ones, or maybe I think there was a red one, these might go in that as well. I don't know. So I mean, I got plenty of storage on the walls too. Of course, I forgot to. I got to insulate these walls later on. Which I don't know if I'm going to probably do. Um, I think I'll probably definitely just do the ceiling anyway because I'm never really going to use the ceiling for anything. So, so that might as well have some insulation on there. So that I'm not losing too much heat. So I don't know why they had to oil the damn things, but they did. Oh, that one. Okay. That's a big mother. Big mother number. So, these are no longer available online now, so, well, maybe they were just poorly, poorly designed, I don't know, but, ew, so, but of course this rag's all dirty as shit, too, I need to get a new one put back here, I got shop towels, but I don't have a thing to hold them, so, I need to get one, I'm probably just going to buy one online there. Most likely on eBay. That's where I buy all this crap from. Well, besides the tools and stuff, that all comes from the comes from Northern Tools. So, or uh, Herman Freight's company there. So I don't know if this big guy will fit in there. Oh, barely. So, but yeah, you get some chisels like this. This is a chisel, and then you get some punches. All different sizes, and I'm probably not going to go through them right now. If you guys want to see them, let me know, and I can do a video on them. But for now, I'm not going to. This video's already so fucking long as it is. Now they're going to be like, oh god, here we go again. But look, I can't help it, you know. I'm just going to videotape, and then when I'm done videotaping, that's how I the video is. Try to keep it under an hour, that's for damn sure. I know you guys are not liking the liking your videos, so... Yeah, they can sit up in that thing, at least there they won't get peed on or anything. Um, but that's pretty much all it then. That's all I got planned for today. Um, I have to wash my hands, of course, when I get in, but... But, uh, I don't know if they're talking any more cooler weather or not. I mean, today is 40 above, you know, damn it, 50, so... Um, well, to me it feels like it's 50 because... This does not feel like 40 degree weather. It feels a little warmer than that, but not by much. Excuse me. So, put that there. The screws can go up probably up in the house for now until I can get a get a Dewey from them, too. So, but yeah. Come on, baby, here. So, I'll just put those in my pocket. Oh, yeah, and I forgot, too. I got a couple things in my pocket, too. Um, I bought a package of Sharpies. I'm probably not going to need them on here, but I bought them for out here anyway. So, I don't know where the hell I'm going to hang them, but I don't have any more nails. I probably don't even need them back here, but... Frig it. And then I think I also got... Um, I also bought a... Uh, little notepad thing too, so if I had to write something down, I could. I don't know, oh, I have to throw it in here. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So it'll be fine back here. Yeah, so just a, uh, you know, notepad, permanent markers. That's all I got. So, I bought those two things at the grocery store when I went shopping that last, or not this last time, but I think a couple of months ago or something it was. So they weren't on sale or anything, but you know, frig it, they were decently cheap anyway. Only only a few bucks. So But yeah, so that's probably pretty much lifting for today. Um there's some nice weather out there, so of course I got nothing to do. Ooh, walking onto this brightness can make you make you feel dizzy. 
I've been feeling kind of dizzy again the past couple of days. I think the pills are kind of doing their thing again to me. I feel fine for, you know, for about a good week, and then I feel crappy again. So, but uh, she's melting pretty good everywhere that we're actually seeing some yard. Um, she's going to live at a yard, even at the neighbor's yard. Not at my place yet, though. I got too much, uh, not besides there, but got too much snow compacted down there now. So, well, yeah, so we managed to get quite a bit done. Got the new shop light put up. Um, freaking light died again. Uh, finally got the, uh, the blue things hung up there. So that's nice. And, uh, took those, uh, things out of the package. So, yeah, that's what they were here. They're, apparently they're no longer available online, which you can get other ones too, but they're not as good. So, well, as long as they're made out of steel, I'm sure they're just, uh, I'm sure they're just fine. So, yeah, I don't think it is, I don't think my, my um, my UPS package is coming today because I just seen UPS in town, so I don't think it's coming. So it might. It's not gonna come by the mail either because the mail already went by. So so probably tomorrow for sure. That's what they're scheduling it for. So maybe it will. There'll be a video on that too, but I guess there's really not much to uh, to show about it. But yeah, and also because I also brought the, those cans of WD-40 out too. Don't need them. They're for. Uh, for other jobs, so, but yeah, so I've finally got a little bit more room in my house now, got the white scripts and everything out of the way, making sure they're sturdy, make sure they're on the wood good enough so they won't fall off, so hopefully these blue things won't cave in, we'll know, probably in a couple of days, <laughs> they don't, uh, don't, don't take the load anymore, but they're not really that, they're not even maxed out yet on weight, so, it should be, uh, should be fine. So, whatever. I think I'm also going to find a different place to put these clamps at, too. The C clamp and then this redneckish clamp, too. It says it was made in America, so I guess it's just not redneckish, but it looks redneckish to me. Put that in a different place because I kind of want more space on the workbench. And they got a couple of summer trucks coming into town here to haul more of those stupid vans. One's, one's empty and the other one's fully loaded, so. I mean, don't ask me why, but they do that kind of stupid thing, so. And that one pickup on, there's a pickup on there. I swear it looks like the neighbor's rig, but it ain't. Look how dusty that truck is. God damn. Looks so much like the, uh, that's in black. I think the neighbor's got his in, uh, I think like in a dark blue or maybe it is a black. I don't know. Look kind of like a dark bluish, blackish kind of color. So, so yeah. Well, that's all I got planned, I guess, for today. I, I figured it would take me a while to hang all this, but it didn't take too long. So, that's really all I got planned. All I got to do now would be just to get power put back here, but... Whatever. That's really all I got to hang. I got nothing else to put back here, so I already did everything now. So, so yeah. And I guess, uh, I guess it was a uh, savage or more. I guess he lost power for a few days. That's why I haven't been hearing from him and stuff and crap. You know, I'm pretty shocked that they're even getting this kind of crappy weather because, well, really around this time of the year, we kind of get. You know, Get a little bit of crappy weather, but it ain't too bad. Well, we usually will get one more, one more dump of fucking snow. But I don't know. Maybe this year we, uh, maybe this year we won't. I'm checking my cell phone, and it's uh, it just hit two o'clock. So, well, actually, it's uh, eight after two now. So eight o two or two o eight, I mean. So, but uh, yeah, and apparently. Um, we have, we gave our cats worm medicine, 
But that stuff is so stupid. I don't know what's up with that, but it ain't working. And one of, one of my cats decided to vomit. So, but she's uh, just packed with freaking worms. That's why she's so bloody skinny and she's not not um, gaining any weight. So they called the vet just now and they're going to ship us out some uh, it's a cheaper kind. <laughs> but this one is uh, it's liquid. I don't know what the other, the other stuff that they gave us, which has got to be the dumbest thing in the world to use, but it's, you put it on their back by their shoulder blades, in between the shoulder blades. It's a, it's the same, it's the same thing as when you put the flea medicine on. It's, it's between the shoulders, the shoulder blades. Well, we did that. We gave them the flea medicine and their, uh, and the worm medicine. That stuff didn't work worth a fucking shit because the cats have got their worms again. Well, actually, I think they've. I don't think uh, Rolla has it anymore, but I know uh, Talitha does because she's such a freaking skinny cat. And Minnie, we think that she's probably got it too, but she's not skinny or anything. But she's probably the one that brought them in because she was kind of like an outdoor cat at one time. And of course, she's got kittens, so we're hoping that her kittens don't get it either. But they seem fine. They seem to be gaining some weight, so so they. Ha I think they'll be okay. But but that would explain why Tabitha is not ga gaining any weight. I think she's even gotten a little bit skinnier, but not by much. But you know those worms, they freaking they just they eat her food while she eats food. And they'll eat it, you know, and they'll just eat her alive too, pretty much. So so, but this stuff that they're gonna give us now. It's a liquid medicine. You just shove it down their throat. And then... I think it's the same stuff as what my grandma gets. That's the stuff that she's always been using for years and years. And it's... I don't know if it's ever worked or anything. She doesn't really say anything. So... I don't ask. So... But... It's just... You know... It, it's just a liquid shit. It'll just go, go right down their throat. You gotta shove it down their throat a little bit. You know? That stuff I think is better because... Then at least that way... The flea medicine, or not the flea medicine, the worm medicine is going down into their stomach and actually covering the worms in it. Now this stuff, the stuff that they, they gave us the last time, how the fuck do anything? It just goes on their back. And then it's got to work the way through all, through all the skin. Well, that never really works. So that stupid setup they got going for that is stupid. And I think my phone just went off again. Yeah, it did. Hmm. Interesting, mother. My mom just sold an item on eBay. It says your eBay item. Item sold. Congratulations, your item sold. Get ready to ship. Hmm. Well, I'll text my mom and tell her here. So let me put you guys over here. You guys never really see me ever do any of this kind of work, so. Um. This is my uh, old phone. So I want to go to message my mom. Here she is. Text. And I'm just going to tell her go on eBay. And I'm just going to put one thing one thing sold. No, not that. Well, I forgot to put thing. Ah. Uh, I can't do very very well on these kind of phones. I just can't do things right. Not like you could on a computer. G one thing sold. S O L D, right? And then I'll give her a big old damn smiley face. How about that? Well, I forgot. I usually like to put the uh, the period at that, and then I'll do a smiley face just so it looks a little different, I guess. So, send that to mother. And it's sending. And I only got one bar out here. Unfortunate. That's how she goes. So, we'll go back into the phone again. So, and it just sold just, uh, just now.
So of course it's going to cost money to shift the damn bastard. And then, uh, it just went off again, didn't it? All oh, PayPal stuff. What? You received a payment for your from your buyer. Uh, not really, because that takes about about a fucking week before we even get the payment. So, like, if we sold something for four hundred bucks, you gotta remember that eBay will take their fees out and stuff. So. And I got stuff on here from Tractor Supply. I like Tractor Supply. I like ordering. I don't really buy from them, but their stores. The last the store I was at was 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 pretty nice. It's got like fencing and stuff there. You know, stuff that I would need. But okay, so at Northern Tool, this item is on all items. Everything in this email is on sale. So we got looks like a hose reel, air compressor, or not air compressor. <sighs> A power washer, a tool set, some kind of a table. Ooh, I want that chair. Hell yeah. Some wrenches, a battery booster, some solar panels, something for a truck. My gas can that I bought, the five, five gallon. Sprayer, food grinder, floor jack, um, whatever the hell that is. Aerator, some lights, some... I want to get this chair. I think this chair would, would look cool out here in the shop. Click onto it. Click on a totally different website. You bastard! Ah! I'm blind. Shouldn't have looked out that door, boys. Adjustable sh... Okay. Oh, there's a video on that now, too? Very interesting. What? Where's the... Where's the... Where, where, what? What? Ah, uh, still loading. No wonder I'm not seeing a picture. It was sixty bucks on sale for four on, on sale for fifty, so you saved ten bucks. But you, know, you got to remember uh, shipping and tax and bullshit like that. Fifty-four reviews, but I'm not having no freaking pictures because the phone's still uh, loading. And you boys can probably see still loading. So well, you guys didn't even see that. Show them. Show them that's loading. There you go. So, I got two bars. Must be standing in the right zone. It's like you gotta be in just just right to just get it, get, even get two bars. So, in stock online. Item number. This is the item number. 2030. No, I'm sorry. 2230. I missed that too. So, that's your item number. 2230. And I'm not even gonna fucking try to load this. This is, this is bullshit. Cancel. Now you're really load all of a sudden. There, now you're loaded. I don't know, you, you, you boys tell me what you think. I think this would look kind of nice in the shop. What do you boys think? It says Northern Tool on it, but, you know, that's alright. So, there's a video. I didn't even think there was a video on Last time I looked, there was no video, so I don't know what's up with that, but. But you boys tell me what you think. Leave it in the comment section thing below, or you can... You, I don't know if you can PM me or not. I kind of doubt it, but I know uh, Moss Man tried to email me or PM me, and then I guess he, I guess he kept trying and trying and trying, but it wasn't letting him do it. Well, that's because I didn't have him. Pants are falling down, boys. Oh no, I got a belt on too. That's Moss Man. If you watch this video, probably not because it'd be super long. I know, you, I know you don't like long videos. Who does? But. The reason why you couldn't PM me was because I didn't have you added to my contact list. So, contact list, so however you say that. But I added you now, so if you want to try to PM me again, you can. Um, I think everyone everyone else should be added, like Savage No More. Yeah, he's added, because he can PM me whenever he wants. And we're after 6, I added him. Double Strike, I don't know if I have you or not. Try to PM me, see if you can. Stuff. And if there's anyone else that wants to PM me, you know, some personal information or something, you know, or if you guys have a question and you're embarrassed and you don't want to say it online, you can uh, let me know and I'll add you to my contact there and stuff. Or you could do it on Facebook too if you guys, if you guys could check out my Facebook page and you guys want to add me there as your friend. 
there. I think you can PM me without a problem and stuff, you know. So, but there's really not much I can tell you anyway. But I know one thing we're gonna do later on, boys, is uh, we're gonna redo this. Um, we're gonna pop these nails out and get some monster screws. Um, I'm gonna get some really long ones too, because I know that drill would them right through. Just because um, when my uncle was doing the blade thing up here on the on the vice grip, he pulled up my board, and I've and I've tried to nail it back down. It doesn't work. I've tried to clamp it, and the clamping never pushes it back down. So, oh, let me try something here quick. Um, I didn't think of doing this, but I'm still probably going to redo them those nails. I'll just put some screws in. So, I never tried to actually push the nail back in, but I don't think that'll work. Because, well, it is a little bit. Well, well that's still damaged because, just because of what he's done to it, but that's alright. I don't know if this will work either, but we might as well give it a quick try here. I do apologize for a long video again. But I've told you guys this before. So, just wash it in parts. I'm not telling you you have to wash the whole thing at once. So, unless you got the time for it, but... Who does, right? Who, who does? So, maybe that'll work. Maybe, I don't know. I didn't think of pushing the nails back in, but well, I guess what I could do too is uh, even though that the nails are in, I'll just take screws anyway and just pound them in. See, I think he, no, not too bad here, I guess. But yeah, see, when you do that, yeah, it seems okay again. But I don't know, I pushed, I think I might have pushed too far. It's actually starting to kind of split the wood now, but I'll leave it for now. Um, give it time to not settle, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get some screws for that, and we'll just screw it down. I'll probably just leave the nails, besides these two here that are that are popping out. I'll just get some long screws. I think I'll get the same thickness as, as what the nails are, and my drills will be able to just them right through. She'll probably need full power, but we can cut a light off or something if we had to. So, but I'll leave that for now. Come back tonight, and, or tomorrow, or something, or next time I make a video and take them off. So, but I suppose what I'm going to take off for today, I do apologize for a long vid again. Um, it's just, it's just the way it's going to be, you know, because I got things to talk about. Things to videotape. I probably could make this part, you know, in part two or something, but... Yeah, break it. I don't want to. I want. I, I like to edit, edit them together, so then there's just one big video, and then I'm done. I don't have to deal with the parts. So, and then it takes away takes. Well, that's the same. It's either way, either way, you got to edit them anyway. But you know, so I got nothing else to do today, boys. Um, I guess we'll have. Oh yeah, another thing too. Um, since it's Monday. I still haven't heard back from the bank yet, so I don't know if they've even gotten my piece of paper. If the mail had, had, has even delivered it. Or what? But my shop is freaking peeing again. Goddamn sleeking. Crap. Oh well. But, um, they don't call by, by Friday of this week now. Either they didn't get it, it got lost. Or he's gonna, or he's gonna mail me back. And tell me what he thinks. I don't know why he just don't call. Because calling would be a lot quicker. But. I don't know. But I'll be kind of busy all this week anyway. So he better just email me. Or mail me. Well I won't be that super busy. But I gotta run. To the hospital. Um, close by here. And then I gotta run to the cities. I think a, a, a couple of days later or something. I don't know. I got some other things to do there too. So. So I'll be kind of somewhat busy this week. But only probably about two or three days I'll be busy. And then 
I'll be good for the rest, but so but you know, you know how that goes. So but I suppose guys I'm gonna take off for today, so I guess have a good day and stuff and stuff. So uh, yeah. I guess thanks for watching tubes. Have a good day.